there was a very significant legal settlement today involving one of the world's largest drug companies, GlaxoSmithKline. The New York State Attorney General had accused the company of suppressing negative data about its antidepressant drug Paxil. Glaxo has now agreed to make public all the results in all of its clinical trials involving all of its drugs. There are about 35 drugs approved for use in the country every year and withholding data can be a huge problem. Congress is going to begin hearings next month and ABC's John McKenzie takes a closer look tonight. When Ryan York was 14, he suffered a severe panic attack. Doctors prescribed the antidepressant Paxil. Ryan's condition got worse. I didn't care about school, family, friends. I didn't care what happened to me. A year later, Ryan attempted suicide. If I knew then what I know now, there is no way that my child would have ever been put on Paxil. New York State argued that GlaxoSmithKline failed to warn doctors and the public that some studies showed Paxil did not work in adolescents and might lead to suicidal thoughts. The company said it did nothing wrong. We have uh, acted responsibly in conducting trials in children and adolescents and in making information available to the people who really need to know. All clinical results must be reported to the Food and Drug Administration before a medication is approved. But consumer groups argue problems with safety and effectiveness are not always reported promptly and often not made public. When information isn't fully available to doctors, they may prescribe drugs that are more dangerous and less effective than they really think they are. As early as 1998, GlaxoSmithKline had clinical data showing Paxil was no better than a placebo and increased suicidal thoughts. But it waited five years before informing the FDA. And it wasn't until we put together all of the data from all nine trials that we saw a possible signal that we thought should be brought to the attention of the agencies. Attorneys for New York State say concealing negative results of clinical trials is a widespread practice. The American Medical Association, representing many of the country's doctors, is now calling for a comprehensive government directory of all clinical trials, with all results available to the public. Suppression of clinical data, in my opinion, is criminal. We're not talking about side effects like nausea and vomiting. We're talking about life-threatening side effects like suicide. John McKenzie, ABC News, New York. Our closer look for today.